What's going on guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and in today's video We are picking up a highly controversial car on this YouTube channel And I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like Nor, why did you buy this car at the same time? I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like hey Nor, that's a smart move So let's go ahead get this car. We need to go first pay for it Which is a um, loan sum of cash and then we need to go down to Copart drop off the check set up an appointment and then go tow it Thankfully we have a truck so we got to do is rent a trailer and at the same time I'm probably gonna be trying to get the M the M3 down to a frame shop get that worked on so that you know $65 trailer rental becomes real handy because we get to drop off a car pick it up and pick up our i3 so we are getting three toes in with one trailer I think we're getting a money's worth right there <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and head out get that check and head down to Copart You got some organisms growing in the car, bro. Bro, what is going on with this? <laughs> A little microwave. <laughs> bro, it's tired. Just walk. <laughs> bro, this is like a... <laughs> what is this, dude? <laughs> little microwave. Oh, man. But this microwave's gonna save me so much money. <laughs> Oh god, let's get this thing out. Service engine light when we're towing, you guys know that's probably a serious problem. Guys, I was afraid I had to go buy a charger, but it's in the front. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, dude, but this is some significant damage, guys. So when I bid on this car, I honestly thought it was going to be a quick, easy repair. It looks like you guys are seriously here for a save of BMW because, um, yeah, that looks like some serious subframe damage. This guy literally looks like he hit a tree. So <laughs> that's why you don't buy sight unseen. We actually bid on this car sight unseen, and uh, it's definitely going to be a project. Definitely going to be a project. But uh, I think it is, it is definitely going to be manageable, but again, definitely a project. <laughs> Okay, all right. The goal is to figure out a way to get back there um, where we can actually get some power to this car. We just need to figure out a way to get it in neutral. Once we get it in neutral, everything should be great in the Navy. Uh, so, yeah, wish us luck. That's going to be the, uh, the new mission. Actually, we have a tow hook here, too, just in case we need to use it. But, uh, uh, yeah, let's get to it, guys. This perfectly good LED headlight is gone. Just because of the tabs. Dude, that sucks, dude. Yeah. We might try to see if we can try to save the tabs on this one because, guys, these ones are $1,000 each. I looked into them. Uh, I didn't know I actually had the LED, BMW LED headlight. These are $1,000 a pop. So broken tab there. There might be some kind of tab repair kit, I'm hoping. One, two, three. And there's one right there. Um, I know there's, it's right here, the actual tab, 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 and tab. I might actually put them on back on here and just JB weld it because this headlight, like there's no cracks or damage to it whatsoever. It's just the tab. So this headlight's definitely something we're gonna have to save. I, the thing is, I've never dealt with a car like this. It is a completely new experience, but 
I don't know what's damaged because like I, I saw the subframe from the bottom damaged, but I don't know how far the subframe goes back. Uh, we saw the, the crash rail on the other side get damaged, but I don't know how far that goes back. So everything here, guys, hopefully in the next video, we're gonna be trying to tear apart this complete front end. As of right now, we're just trying to figure out a way to get some power to this thing so we can just get it off this trailer. That's the goal. And also if we can actually get this thing in, uh, what's it called? Uh, turn the steering wheel, that'd be more ideal as well. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep finicking. We're probably gonna try to remove this box right here just so we can get, try to get that positive cable. Once we get that positive cable, hopefully everything's gonna be gravy in the Navy. Actually, is this box good, bro? No. Dude, are you serious right now? Oh, never mind. Dude. This guy. I, you know, I was just, you know, <laughs> you know, I was hoping, you know what I mean? Dude, he but, said uh, I was just hoping. Look at that. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, guys. So I think the next thing we're going to have to do is just remove this box right here. Unfortunately, we tried everything we could. We got power to the car and everything, but the car will not start. I have no idea how the electric cars go with BMW. So um, yeah, we got power to it by literally fusing the uh, positive cable, um, but unfortunately it will not start. It keeps saying that um, safety lock or discharge or whatever. So uh, yeah, the car will not even go in neutral, which is super like annoying. Um, so we're just gonna have to literally yank this thing off. Uh, that really sucks. So that, that I mean, uh, thankfully at least we got to the front, the front trunk. We got the original uh, tow hook here. Um, so that should pretty much, yeah, goes in perfectly. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and try to get the trailer on this side of the, the driveway. And then I'm gonna try to get my truck on this side and we're just gonna try to yank it off. Hopefully this is a success. This is a hit or miss guys, wish me luck. Sorry guys, I didn't see y'all there. This is the next morning guys, don't mind my lips. It was super cold that night and super windy that my lips just got really, really, really chapped. And uh, yeah, even my hands and everything, trying to get that car off the trailer was nearly impossible. Now electric cars is very controversial. And then on top of that, the i3 is a very controversial car that BMW made. And I know this is probably gonna shock a lot of you guys. Nor, why did you just dump and waste money on a BMW i3? The thing is, the thing is, is, hear me out. Tell me, just tell me, everyone who's owned a BMW, at least I have all my friends, have thought about buying a BMW i8, but it looks like a toaster. It looks like some kind of waffle machine. It looks really, really, really weird. That's true, that's an absolute fact. But reality is, it's a BMW, a BMW technology, and at the same time, this particular i3 is a 2019 BMW i3, which has the longest range BMW's ever made, which is 150 miles just on electricity, and then also also has the, it's the Rex model so it also has the engine as well which gives it like an additional 50 or 55 miles so this particular i3 can travel up to 200 miles in under two gallons which is about 10 bucks and 10 bucks can get you 200 miles a real 200 miles not your normal BMW 200 miles so I think that's pretty insane and if you never ever actually pass 150 miles at a time like you just charge it every single day you don't really travel far you're literally never spending money on gas which I think is really good the i8 was a car I loved so 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 much and it was hard to give it a chance because it came with a three-cylinder um, the i3 actually comes with the exact same keys and I put the i3 the i8 keychain on it it's super weird how they have the exact same keys I feel like the i8 should have 
have a more prestigious key compared to the i3. Um, but uh, anywho, the i8 to me came as a complete shocker. It was really, really, really fun. It was very luxurious. And for the price, guys, those cars are still going for like sixty to seventy thousand dollars, which I think is really, really, really good for the money. And the fuel economy, I got fifty miles per gallon, which was really crazy when you put it in eco mode. So I was like, you know what? Let me try out the i3, the full electric. I just want to give this car a chance. The whole point about being a BMW enthusiast is to not criticize every single car without actually driving it and getting to know it. So for me, as somebody who's experienced so many BMW 3 Series and some of the other you know generations and some of the other series cars, I've never actually tried the i3 and I figured, you know what, what better way than to get the best i3 that BMW offers. I know there is an i3S Rex, which is obviously the sports model, but that one is just like the price of M cars and if that, I cannot justify. But this is the i3 2019 Rex, which has the longest range so far BMW has made and at the same time has that gasoline motor so we can go anywhere we want. We can even take this thing to LA technically for under maybe like 20 or 30 bucks. A six hour drive for 20 or 30 bucks. I think that's pretty crazy. So yeah guys, I do have some plans for this thing. I do want to be the first one to modify a BMW i3 at the same time. So it's going to be an interesting build. It's definitely going to be an interesting build. As of right now, we got no power to the car and I have no idea why. I'm a little afraid that we're not going to get this thing out of the driveway until we actually fix the whole front end, which is a little stressful because if it does have frame damage, which it looks like it does, um, we definitely need to take it back to the frame shop. It took us four, like literally, I think four hours last night trying to get it off of the trailer. So to get it on a trailer, I could only imagine. Pick a pull, obviously just forklifted it on, so it was much, much, much easier. So we're gonna have to figure that out, obviously, when the time comes. But if you're excited to see how this build goes, let me know down below. And let me know, is the BMW i3 a car you guys ever wanted to give a chance? I know it crossed my mind a couple times. Did it cross your mind? I'm very curious. I got this car so you guys don't have to. And as somebody that drives a BMW M car on a daily basis, this is definitely gonna be an interesting build. And I, I'm, I'm definitely like feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. It's a different experience. I feel like it's just gonna be new things to learn and I'm just super stoked to be honest. I think with the BMW 3 Series guys, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm over. I'm completely over. Now the M3 is an amazing car, the 92 M3, but I am completely over the 3 Series because when I take things apart on that car, I probably take it apart a 3 Series maybe over 10 or 15 times, like 10 or 15 different 3 Series. So trying something new is definitely something I wanna try. I know Muffin's down to try out some new builds with me as well. I'm gonna try to see if we can get her some kind of leash and take her outside. She's been a really good baby inside and I wanna take her outside and you know have her in the videos and chill with us while we're working on the cars and stuff but uh she's also very scared she gets scared real quick so for those of you guys who are wondering why is muffin not in the videos i've been working outside a lot and muffin gets really scared outside so uh yeah that's what's going on with this little girl are you okay baby <laughs> she looks she looks so mad guys <laughs> Anywho, without further ado guys, if you guys are excited to see this build series, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.